hello friends and welcome back to my channel today we are going to look into you know how how to filter data in postgresql server what is the limit and fetch offset clauses with the uh, your select statements or while querying the data okay so as usual the agenda would be brief understanding on filtering data limit and fetch offset clause and then as you know the practical demo so uh, filtering data what what we understand by filtering data see basically you know in a table there are lots of records you know uh, there may be possible that depending upon the application millions of records are there so uh, in select statement we cannot uh, query a data the full table at all the times so that's not the requirement the requirement can be uh, different on uh, for, for the different users right someone may want to fetch uh, uh, for example uh, there is an employee table uh, which contains department designation and the employee record so now you know uh, someone may want to fetch the data for a specific department someone may want to fetch a record for a specific designation if employee salary records are there then someone may want to fetch you know uh, data on specific uh, salary records right so it's not always that you know always we will have to retrieve the record so while querying the data it's always becomes mandatory or uh, essential uh, that you should know that how to filter a data so there are different ways you know uh, in filtering data and on your screen you can see uh, these are some of the operators which are being used while filtering data when you query the data right uh, to suffice your needs so you know you can use them as per your requirement so for example is equal to operator is for you know equating the data greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to not equal to then we have some logical operators like uh, and then or then there are other operators like in between like is null and not right uh, surely we would see you know example of each of this and after that we will also look into the uh, uh, the clause limit clause and uh, offset fetch clause right uh, why these clauses are there and how how they are being used to uh, limit our uh, record set okay so yeah uh, this was a very brief introduction let us uh, directly move on to the uh, examples okay uh, you can see here i am connected with the pg admin uh, dvd rental data through pg admin and let me remove this because we have already seen this and here i am using address table okay so now from an address table if you can see if i query this table if i fire this select statement then you can see uh, like 200 and uh, sorry 603 rows got affected right so here actually all the rows retried but you know as i told you that we may not need this rows okay we might need to filter this rows and that's where this filtering of data uh, comes into the picture uh, so for example someone wants to search on postal code okay uh, so here with the help of equal clause this is our first clause equal Ops, first operator sorry equal so what how how the query you can write select star from address now this is the query uh, simple query okay which uh, we have seen uh, in our last uh, or, or in a video or if you have not gone through those videos please go through those videos how to query the data and now we are adding this filter condition with the help of a where clause okay with the help of where clause we are adding a filter condition and we are actually filtering data like postal code is equal to 83579 so you need to if it is a where care value character value text value you need to put into the single quotes if it is not then you can directly write this value so in this first query what we are going to find like postal code is equal to 83579 so when i execute this query we can see only one record now instead of 603 records only one record got equated okay now in last uh, uh, video we also saw the order by clause and everything so it's not that you know you can use the where clause only by only where clause you can use now you can the select query can be executed with the help of all these clauses like you, you can have where clause where clause you can have order by clause and so on okay so in my next query we are giving we are showing the example of greater than so here I'm, you know, the query is written to find city ID greater than 35. So it will list all the data where city ID is greater than 35 and then order by city ID. So when we execute this query, oops, sorry. You can see here that 
my city id is greater than i have actually order by it in ascending order so that you can see so all the records where city id is greater than 35 has been displayed okay similarly here you can see 35 is not there if you just put greater than equal to so now what will happen in this case it will also include 35 here it was greater than 35 now here uh, you know the we have used the operator greater than equal to which means that 35 would also be included so now if you execute this query you can see 35 was also included similarly for less than so this is the this is this is the way you can use the less than operator now you can see all the operators uh, sorry all the city ids less than 34 are being retrieved and similarly less than equal to 35 here also 35 was not there so if we include less than equal to then it will include 35 as well okay so this were some operators is equal to greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to now not equal to now you can have not equal to this way also or this way also both would work okay so not equal to 300 so here what we are specifying that city id should not be equal to 300 okay uh, let me execute this query for you and now you can see there would be no city id 300 so if we scroll down see after after 299 it was directly 301 so you know with the, with the help of this query 300 was excluded from the output data output result set and similarly as i told you not equal to so this will give us a same result set here again there would not be 300 you can see here okay so this was related to not equal to now uh, see we are here actually now what we are doing now it's not that you know when whenever you use an equal to operator or greater than only one where condition you can specify you can specify multiple where condition so in this query i am equating district is equal to alberta and with the help of that an address is equal to my 47 my sakila drive so if i execute this query You can see we retrieved one record okay so it's not necessary that you can have only one condition you can have multiple conditions uh, you know or the where or the filter condition you can use with the, your select query depending upon your uh, requirement so and this was to show and so in this case what will happen it will try to find a record where district is equal to alberta and at the same time address should be equal to 47 my sakila drive okay so this is in this case both the condition that is district is equal to alberta and address equal to 47 my secular drive should be fulfilled and only those records would be displayed and below that you can see it's a or condition so in this case what what will happen it will find all the records with district is equal to alberta and at the same time all the records with district is equal to texas and the unique records would be displayed so you can see here you can have we can have number of uh, you know we have more than one record why because we are we have uh, actually given the condition that district is equal to alberta or texas so basically both of the uh, records are uh, displayed here okay so this was the logical and and this was logical or this is very important guys uh, you know uh, whenever you are working with logical and and or then uh, you need to understand that how the condition uh, is going to work and what is your requirement so again i am just specifying that with when whenever you are using and clause both the conditions should get fulfilled and whenever you are using or clause either of the conditions should be uh, get fulfilled or both the conditions so if even if both the condition would get fulfilled right but it will actually display both the record so for example let me show you one example if i would have replaced this here right now you know this is going to be uh, this is going to be impossible right that in a single record district is equal to alberta and district is equal to texas we are not going to get that okay so if i execute this then you can see no record is being displayed because it is trying to find a record where district contains alberta also and texas also which is not possible and in this case it is trying to find a record where district is equal to alberta or district is equal to texas okay 
now with the same we, you can use in clause in is what you know whatever values you will be specified here actually all those would be searched so if i execute this you can see again alberta so this is as good as your or clause okay this is your add good good as or clause then comes between so between is like 100 and 300 okay you can see here 300 is also included so all your city id between 100 and 300 so this this way you can use the between clause where you will specify the first condition and the second condition and all your records would be displayed or fetched depending upon this uh, two values that is a starting value and ending value okay uh, similarly uh, here you can see you know i have actually calculated this length of address and then i am finding you know using the between clause using that length address okay you can actually do uh, write a query in this way also so now what is happening it is finding the length of address and then we are specifying that my length as address should be, be between 10 and 15 so only those records would be displayed whose address length is between 10 and 15 okay then this comes uh, then comes the like operator this is always used for a uh, pattern matching okay percentage is like uh, uh, n number of characters so what this will actually uh, try to find a record that in my address field okay starting or there can be n number of records but somewhere in between there should be way or at the last also and after way there can be n number of records there can be n number of uh, characters and there cannot be okay so when i execute this query you can see here all the queries would contain way so out of 603 only 59 rows have been uh, fetched and you can see each and every record would contain way either way can be at the last way can be in the middle or way can be at the uh, start because we have used percentage percentage if we remove this percentage here then what it will try to find out that my first letter first uh, you know whatever three characters should be way and rest can be anything okay so when i execute this you can see no record has been displayed because there was no record where wherein address contains a way uh, as a starting and then any record so now with this like operator if i say that all one nine so now what will happen it will search for one nine as first two characters then any characters then again way should be there and then any characters so let us see how many records are so we get five records so now you can see here that there is a one nine in all of this record is starting two characters and then way is also present okay so this way you can use this pattern matching you can you know uh, this would help uh, a lot you know while retrieving records whenever you don't know uh, you know uh, the value in those columns and similarly this would be like negating so here we we saw that way now here when we add not which means what it it will show all the records where way doesn't way is not there okay so when i execute this you can see 544 rest of the records and you will see here no record would contain the way because what like we have negated this like like way so in in earlier query we found like way but then we negated that now we are saying no not like way so it should not contain way anywhere whether in the starting middle or in the last right so this where all your select queries with you know uh, different characters okay now let us move to limit what is limit so limit is used to you know limit your uh, number of rows that is being displayed so here of course here also you are limiting but for example uh, okay with this way let us let me remove this 19 and with this still they are showing 15 and record but what if i want to display only first five records out of that okay so for that the limit clause is used which which tells us or which tells the query that okay from the output result so after specifying after uh, fulfilling all the where conditions right whatever filtering conditions you are there on top of it limit only this this many records to display okay so let me show you this 
if 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 i say address now 603 records are there so what i am saying okay limit record to 5 okay when i say limit is equal to 5 so you can see only first five records would be displayed okay and when we say offset 5 okay which means what that offset means it will actually skip those those many rows so out of your total result set when we say offset five it will skip first five records and then five records would be shown okay so with the help of offset clause this is the number where you want to skip those many rows and then out of the total number of rows that have been retrieved you want to show only first five okay so now here with only limit as five you can see uh, you are being shown 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When I use offset clause here, now you can see 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 5 records are displayed. Which means what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 were skipped due to the offset clause and rest remaining 5 were shown. Now it contains so many records, right? The query would contain so many records but it is limiting this. Now let us see how with, you know, when we say order by, with descending how does this work so now you can see it is showing me the last five records because we have used ordering we have ordered the query output results on address id as descending so it is showing me last five records here also if we say offset five right now this 6054321 would be skipped and earlier to that would be shown so you can see here 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, where 6 and 600, 5, 9, 5, 9, 8, 5, 9, 7 and 5, 9, 6 are shown. Okay. So, this is, this way you can use your limit clause. Okay. Uh, let us go to the offset fetch clause. Right. This is similar uh, to limit, but the, uh, the syntax is different. Here we say fetch first one row only. So, here you were actually saying limit to phi or limit one so here, here this is first one row only so it will only fetch the first row okay similarly first five rows now this would be exactly equal to limit five so you can say first five okay and then here again the same thing offset five rows and then first five rows only so this is as good as limit five and offset five okay so you can see here six seven eight nine ten right so this is nothing but you know as good as limit but a different uh, kind of uh, syntax okay uh, otherwise this works as good as limit right so this was with uh, you know filtering the data and how to use limit and offset clause hope you have enjoyed this video guys uh, as as usual you know do as much as practice you can do it uh, because uh, you know uh, if you are going for the development track then you know this is very very mandatory and very very uh, you know required that uh, you know how to filter the data how to write the select statements and so on so uh, practice as much as possible okay uh, that's it for today please don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to you know like pressing a like button uh, on this video right uh, thanks guys for watching this video meet you next time with next good topic till then bye take care